Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you are tracking inventory, you can manually adjust the quantity on hand. This is helpful if there is spoilage, damage, or any event that changes the inventory amount outside of regular purchases and sales. To manually adjust the quantity on hand of an inventory item, click the gear button and then click the products and services link under the lists heading within the drop down menu to open the products and services page. Select the item for which you want to adjust the inventory on hand by either double clicking it or by clicking the edit link in the action column to open the items product service information pane. To the right of the quantity on hand label is the current quantity on hand amount for that item. Below the quantity on hand label is an adjust label with a quantity and a starting value link. To adjust the quantity on hand, click the quantity link to open an inventory quantity adjustment window. You use this window to enter the quantity adjustment. Enter the date of the adjustment into the adjustment date field. The reference number field should automatically increment itself up to the next available integer, but you can also enter a value into this field if required. Use the Inventory Adjustment Account drop-down to select the account affected by the inventory adjustment. In the Line Items section, the inventory item you selected appears. You can either enter the new quantity into the New Quantity field, or enter the difference between the quantity on hand and the new quantity into the Change in Quantity field. If using this field to note a loss of items, enter the change as a negative number. You only need to perform data entry within one of these fields, as the other automatically recalculates based on the value entered into the other. When finished, click the Save and Close button to save the changes and close the window. If needed, you can also adjust starting values for inventory items. Please note that changing an inventory item's starting value can have repercussions across many accounts. If you are not sure of what to do, it is best to consult your accountant before making any changes. To change the start value for an inventory item, once again open that item's Product Service Information pane. This time, click the Starting Value link under the Quantity on Hand label and to the right of the Adjust label to open a warning message box. Read the message and click the Got It button if you want to continue. In the Inventory Starting Value window that appears, enter the correct Initial Quantity on Hand of the item into the Initial Quantity on Hand field. Enter the date as of which that starting inventory is correct into the As of Date field. Enter the Initial Cost into the Initial Cost field. Then use the Inventory Adjustment Account drop-down to select the correct account used to balance the Inventory Asset account. If you are unsure, check with your accountant. The Memo field contains a default memo and you can change it if desired. If you have classes and locations enabled, you can also use the Class and Location drop-down to classify this transaction if needed. You can enter a different reference number or code into the Reference Number field if you want to change its default value. When finished, click the Save and Close button to enter the adjustment to the inventory item and related accounts. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.